Hello you guys, this is Gemini Bros for Life And I'm coming at you with another YouTube video This is on the CRJ900 Air Canada in the new livery I know this model has been out for uh, quite some time now uh, I, haven't I haven't done one, I meant to do one But, uh, you know Time just passes by with school and everything. Uh, but, you know, I'm doing it now. So, if you made it this far to the video, thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah, uh, please like and subscribe if you are new to this channel, if you just seen this channel. And if you are new to this channel, just to clear everything up, what I do is reviews on Gemini Jets or any... Uh, Diecast model. Sometimes I may do like, you know, other stuff other than that. But mainly it's just reviews on uh, diecast models and plane spotting. Yeah, so that's basically the mores of my channel. Just to clear that up for newcomers. Okay, with that said, we I have the box this time. And we can get to the box first. Okay, right here, you have the Gemini Jets logo. Made for collectors by collectors. The 2D image. For the focus. There we go. Yeah, the 2D image. Bombarded CRJ900. Air Canada. 1400 scale. Let's take a look inside. Okay, you have all the information right there. Pause if you would like to read. Oh, let me move my fingers. Sorry, guys, because this flap is like, likes to move in. So, please pause that if you would like to read. Okay. That's where the model would sit. Right here you have 1400 scale diecast model, highly collectible, superior quality, uh, as real as it gets, realistic metal landing gear, detailed print graphics with rolling tires, bombarder CRJ900, the back of the box and the other side of the box. And right here you have the model climbing. Gemini Just logo, more information. Pause if you would like to read. Follow Gemini Just on Facebook. They have a very good uh, Facebook profile or channel, whatever you call it. And this is a 2017 Gemini Jets model. So, yeah, uh, this was a while ago because it's 2018 now. Um, yeah, but that's the box. Now time to get to the part that all of y'all have been waiting for, the actual model. And we're going into that right now. Okay, here's the model, guys. This is Air Canada and the new livery. I believe Air Canada announced this livery in 2017. I mean, yeah, of course, because <laughs> this model's from 2017. But yeah, I like the color scheme. At first, I didn't, but you know... I came to to like it. Still feel that the old one was a little slightly better. But, I mean, that's just my opinion. Uh, but let's get to the details of this model. Okay. So, right here you have the cone. Have your windshield wipers, the windows, uh, a lot of detail. See some pedo tubes right there. Seven two one up on the um, nose gear door. Uh, you have an emergency escape door for the pilots. Uh, you have the main entrance door. 
the Air Canada logo, have your windows. They are a member of Sky Team. Uh, <laughs> just to get this off my chest, I never knew Air Canada was a member of Sky Team. I mean, it's not Sky Team, Star Alliance, my fault, guys. Yeah, never knew that. Okay, you have uh, Express right here with the famous maple flower. Wow, these look like cargo doors right here. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll find that out when I get to the bottom. Okay, and moving down the model. You have your two emergency escape doors. Emergency exit doors. I mean, you have... <laughs> My fault, guys. Uh, you have um, the overwing exit arrows. Have your wing detail. Red beacon light right there. Winglet. Uh, the air, the Canada flag, which is Charlie Golf, Juliet. Uh, Okay, let me see. Charlie, Goff, Juliet, Zulu, Victor. Pretty sure that's right. And, yeah, these are cargo doors. And you have a luggage compartment, I'm guessing, right there underneath. And if you guys can... This can zoom anymore. Clear up. I believe this right here says uh, Bombardier CRJ 900 right there, but you guys probably can't see that. Okay, have your engines. You see some detail right there. And okay, and you have your tail. As you can see, the tail is kind of messed up. This model actually came in. This model actually came uh, to me broke. So, you know, I was going to take it back, but, you know, I decided not to. I was a little disappointed when it got here, though, but I know it was probably because of the shipping and handling, not because of Gemini Jazz, so... Don't get afraid uh, to get this model, guys, if you was thinking about getting it. That's just, that just was my personal experience. Doesn't mean it's going to happen to you. I was just one of the unlucky ones at this time. But uh, with that said, let's get to the other side. Okay, right here you have the other side. Same thing, uh, except this is a cargo door. Air Canada Express. Uh, move the model down. Uh, yeah, same thing. Hmm. Ain't that's that's kind of weird. I never really noticed it, but I mean, it's cargo doors on the passenger side. Oh, the CRJ 900 Air Canada. But not on the usual cargo cargo side. Hmm. I never noticed that. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess now I'm starting to wonder if all CRJs 900s have been like that. And I have not noticed it. Uh, if you would like to share that with me in the comments below, you can. Yeah, but uh, you have your emergency exit doors and the arrows. Same thing, basically. You have your uh, APU and a little bit of detail back there. And whatever these things are, but I really do like those on aircraft, especially the CRJ900. So, okay, that wraps it up for that side. Now, let's get to... Oops, move this out the way. Alright, now I'm going to show you a few views 
of this aircraft. Now, you will notice that some of this is offline. That's only because I tried to fix it with super glue. And I just did the best I could. Once again, if you're still looking for this model, to get in this model, uh, still do. Don't let this video, uh, you know, change your thoughts. This is just how my model came in. So as you can see, it's a little off. Uh, but you know, what can you do? I still like it though. All the detail and everything. And here is the back side. So mainly the biggest thing that's off about this model is the tail. And that's only because it was broke. Now another thing I don't like about this model is how close they made the gear on here. The CRJ900's gear is on the wing, not like under on the fuselage. So that's another thing that they did with the CRJ900 that I do not like. Okay, now we're going to move to the top. Okay, uh, you have your cockpit. See the emergency exit door for the pilots. The entrance door, which is bigger than the cargo door have uh, some words and uh, detail at the top. No antennas on this model. See the wings, the wing detail. And the engines in the tail. Not much really on the top. And I believe there's not much detail on the bottom, but let's get to the bottom so you guys can see it. Okay, here is the bottom probably going to be a little bit hard to see the detail because the bottom is like like a dark black if it's, if it's fun will focus now I'm already like 12 minutes into this video trying to get it done but due to technical difficulties it is delayed a little bit so I apologize for that guys Come on, focus, please. Mm. All right, hold on. Okay, there we go, finally. As you can see, you have the nose gear. A lot of white dots and detail. I do like that. Uh, right here, you have some cargo doors. Have uh, wing lights. The Air Canada logo. Uh, have your main gear. Come on, focus. Thank you. Okay, tiny, tiny Gemini Jets logo. Really like that about Gemini Jets, how they're making their logo smaller to add more realism to the aircraft. As you can see under this engine you have another cargo door and towards the back more detail than the tail. Detail on the wings with the flaps and everything. Okay, now that the that part's over, let's get to see how the model will look on a terminal park. Okay. So, right here, the plane is parked in gate. It's getting its luggage, its fuel, and uh, catered. The terminal. Get a different aerial view. Okay, now we're going to show the aircraft in flight mode. Alright, there's the aircraft in flight mode. Climbing out of Rice Rock International Airport. Which is the name of our fictional airport. Probably wondering why, if you're new to the channel, why I'm saying R. It's because my brother, it's me and my brother's channel. 
But since my brother has been working and everything, he has not been able to, you know, be here as much as he used to. I also don't know when the next airport update will be. But just stay tuned so you can find out. So some views. Yeah, so it's still a very beautiful model. I really like it. And if you look forward to seeing our channel grow, please like, subscribe. You know, you can give a shout out if you want to. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. And Gemini Bros out.